Begin by gently observing how your body is situated. <coughs> Trying to Be comfortable. If it needs, if your body needs to be adjusted in some way, <coughs> do so now. Try not to lean too much into the back of the chair, if you're sitting on a chair. Have both feet be grounded if you're sitting on a chair. The sitting posture is important. <coughs> but not as important as the position of your mind. So as you breathe in and out, please Try not to control anything. No pushing, no pulling, no pressing. There's a lot of allowing, however. As you breathe in and out, naturally, you'll begin perhaps to notice some tension around your face, some tension around the neck, the chest perhaps, your hands, your shoulders, So it's a good thing to do a short body scan to check in with your body to see how things are doing. <coughs> Meditation is not supposed to be like fighting with your body or your mind. Instead, you're making yourself become transparent to you. no longer hiding anything from you. So as the mind begins to settle, and the breathing also comes to a healthy rhythm, becomes soft. 
See if you could relax your face, your throat, your chest, your neck, your shoulders, your hands, etc. As you are continuously opening and relaxing, you might begin to notice some tension in the mind, something you might be holding on to. Something you heard which you didn't want to hear. Something you've seen which you didn't want to see. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other. And just come back to a restful state. Using the breath. First of all, as you slide back, to a state of forgiveness in your heart. Being okay with yourself. Making room for compassion in your heart. Above all, to yourself. Meditation teaches us about true intimacy. Here you develop the fertile soil of True seclusion. As you go deeper into the heart, soft. non-threatening, accommodating, and full of love to yourself, first of all. Gaining the trust of your heart. Here it is very important to check your attitude. Whether there's any demanding on your part, expecting something, trying to push something away or to gain something. All these, leave them outside 
and just continue going back into the heart. Now, you may go ahead and make an uplifting, wholesome wish for yourself to be happy, to be without worries, to feel safe. to breathe freely, an image from the past can be helpful, a feeling, a memory from the past can be helpful, where you felt unconditional and joyous, loving sensations running through you. Perhaps an event when you were still a child or from last week. But a feeling that is genuine nonetheless. We start from here. The body will never forget such moments. Remembering it and feeling it now as if it was then. So see if you could call to heart, call to mind, call to the body. It's such a beautiful experience of loving kindness, which we call metta. That is why we were preparing the body mind and especially the heart to hold, to make room, to cherish and accept that loving feeling within. So as the feeling of metta or the wish to be happy starts to manifest in your body, You might experience it as a feeling of warmth, soft, fuzzy, buzzing feeling near or around your chest, in your heart. Please do not judge yourself. Don't try to correct anything. 
instead. Just allow the metta to continue growing, spreading. as it pleases. Your smile will always help metta to manifest. So constantly check in with your face. Are you smiling? Is there tension? And if there is, without judging, go ahead and relax that tension. Before we give away or share metta with others, we must ensure first that we have metta in ourselves, for ourselves. That is the first requirement. So that is what you're establishing by feeling metta here in this body. Is the mind quieting down further? The second part of the metta practice is bringing in the image, the presence of a spiritual friend, someone who is very special to us. Someone who's alive, not related to us. But very inspiring presence for us. And just like a seed, place them in the middle of that mitta-filled heart inside your chest, protecting them, giving them safety and security, giving them loving kindness. With every breath, see if you continue to feel the metta. Glowing. And the last part of the metta practice
involves us. Observing, recognizing, relaxing, softening and opening, and returning back to the feeling of metta and generating it towards the spiritual friend. This we do every time there's a distraction. While feeling metta in your heart, feeling the presence of your spiritual friend, if and when you find yourself drifting away in some thought, away from your object of meditation. Please do not fight it. Recognize you're distracted. Soften the mind. Smile to yourself with forgiveness. The smiling will help relax the body further. And then slide back to the heart. Be kind to yourself. Try to stay with what's happening in the mind. The urges that present themselves. To move in a certain way or to move in the first place. Remain mindful of your behavior of the mental chatter while also Staying aware with what's happening outside of you. So with that, if you do not wish to sit or continue sitting now, you can do so by getting up 
and continue the practice in the form of walking meditation at the park across the street. But please be aware of your surroundings. Minimizing the opportunities, <clears throat> minimizing the opportunities for communicating with others. And if someone is talking with you or addressing you, Look at what is happening in your mind. So, please come back, whoever among you wants to go and walk, do walking meditation. Please be back in an hour, right before lunch. Otherwise, you can continue sitting.